YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Nail here with another sneaker rotation, Weekly 7. Thanks for everybody that's been watching my channel and my previous videos and my previous sneaker rotations. And most importantly, I finally switched it up for a change, guys, and I actually put out my top five most underrated Jordans in my collection. Now, that's not just like for the year or whatever. That's just for what I could think right now or whatever. Um, go check that video out if you haven't yet. Definitely a fire video. I patched it together a little bit, but I made it work. I'm happy to see that you guys liked it. Um, obviously, I knew it was going to probably get a little bit more views than usual because it's Jay's and people like Jay's. And um, yeah, so I, I got more content on the way. And as, as I promised, or as I said at the end of that video, I got a sneaker rotation coming either Sunday or Monday for you guys. Well, you know. Today is the day, and here go the weekly seven sneaker rotation. Now this is an actual up to date, up to date. Well, I know I don't really too much care matter to you guys because I just do sneaker rotations anyway, and it was just getting a little too repetitive. So I'm gonna still throw a little bit more something into the the mix of things. I got so many sneaker rotations. Even y'all, my subscribers, probably might even get confused. Like, man, is this new or is this old? Like, if y'all ain't getting notifications or if y'all, like, did not looking at the date to see when it's new or if you haven't seen it before, I like to switch up the content a little bit just to kind of break up the monotony a little bit with that. So, in case y'all don't know, day one is Monday for my sneaker rotations. Day seven is Sunday. And I highly suggest you guys wear your sneakers. I don't do this to brag or boast or none of that stuff, guys. But wear your kicks so they just don't break down in the box you know that's the way you got to do it man rock the kicks man don't stock the kicks monday end up rocking the jordan nine chicago joint now i don't really have that many nines or at this point in time this is my only nine when the nines did come around i didn't too much they didn't drop the colorways that I wanted to see. Now, back when I got this Jordan 9, this was during the first release, the first run. Not first run as far as OG, but this was probably the second retro ever to really come out of the 9, the Chicago colorway 9. So the production dates is on 2010 for this. So I got this around the fall of 2010 or something like that. Now, this one I was getting back in to collect the sneakers heavy and uh, like as an adult, really. So this is the 2010 version now. After this, they did drop another one too, you know. But um, and you do know the difference. Be you do know the difference between those two because number one, they got like a dress shoe kind of like skinny string in this one. But the one they released later in the mid 2010s or something like that, those actually have a thicker rope lace than this. Now, I kind of contemplating on getting them because this one was a little bit bigger than the size than I usually get, but due to the sock liner or this booty in the sock liner cushioning, it gives it more, gives your foot more like of a snug fit. I might have got these for maybe about like a hundred bucks or a hundred ten dollars or something like that. Like this was way early in the old Jordan days. I don't, the box is over there, but it's the old silver box. Not the one with the face, but the hard laminated one, but it was like silver and black and charcoal black, but yeah. Anyway, sentimental, you know, I get to looking all like that. Also, too, just so you guys can look at a little bit more. I seen that ugly gray and gray, red and white Jordan 9 come out. I'm just not really a fan of that colorway. Uh, the Jordan 9 as a model, definitely something different and unique. Um, I've been rambling on a little bit for that model a little too long, but I like the olive nines and the charcoal nines, like the OG colorways. The North Carolina joint, the Chicago one, of course. Like, I like the OG ones more, but they also do have a little bit more decent lifestyle colorways that came out. Tuesday, I end up rocking the... Well, I don't even got my cushion in here. I end up rocking the Air Max 1 Jewel Swoosh, Fly, and Flames. Now, I didn't go wild with the Jewel Swooshes. This is my only Jewel Swoosh Nike Air Max. And, you know, I just... The other colorways were fine, but this Nyquil green definitely spoke to me. I definitely did a review on this on my channel, and I just call them the Nyquils because obviously the Nyquil green and, you know, flying flames. Love it, love it, love it. Um, as far as, like, the texture and stuff and fit, obviously fit true to size, but it's more lightweight due to this comfort right here, though, you know. 
um, you know, so you can go look that up if you want. And obviously, you guys see the Nike Air on the back, right there with the embroidery. Next up, man, I'm so happy that I actually just switched it up for a change too. I hate to get repetitive with you guys, and you guys end up seeing a sneaker that I showed like a few weeks ago, and it'd be the same sneaker or whatever. Cause that mean, you know, I just got to get through more kicks, man. Like for example, this I've always been showing my Yeezy 700, but now here go the Yeezy 500. I've been yearning to rock this kick, man. And I end up finally getting to it, finding my box and blowing the dust off of it, man. Pause. And uh, Fly Flames, man. I love it, man. I've been rocking this stuff. You probably might see this next week or something like that. You're going to see this a little bit more often because this is a darker sneaker, you know. Uh, finger swiping suede. It looked like a utility sneaker. Mesh. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I know they did a restock on these, but um, I don't know if that was this year or last year, but I know they did a restock on these. But these came out some time ago. Uh, they don't got the year in here, but this might have came out in 2020 or 2019 or something like that originally. I was like, man, those don't look bad. Let me try those joints out. So size 10, I'll probably get a nine and a half next time if I want a more snug fit, but you know, I don't, I don't go overboard easy, but some of his kicks that he do drop definitely be fly. Thursday, end up rocking the Nike Air Max 1, and uh, this is the Curry Joints. Now, I used to have a green lace through it. This is one of the sneakers that I probably showed you guys before, but it's been a long time since I showed the Currys on here in the sneaker rotation, but this, it just, you know, it makes it a little bit more, makes the sneaker pop a little bit more. To anybody that actually ate curry, they know that yellow and green and sometimes red is part of the, you know, part of the color recipes, depending on what color curry or what kind of curry you had. Um, it's not just like a simple wheat colorway, you know, and nothing wrong with wheat, but the curry hits a little bit more extreme than the typical wheat colorway. And the camera's definitely picking it up. You got that curry stain like curry right here then you got that yellow fly flames guys um through the red curry joints i actually got a, a yellow rope lace through it so yep 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 couldn't wait now it's starting to look like just like hot butter just like melting on it but that's my imagination getting away with me with that one uh friday the nike air trainer classic joint and they call this web tech i just recently read and um my Nike advertising book. So, uh, yeah, definitely something new you learn every day. I remember they had a stiff like material like this before, and it was something called like Flywire. That came out in like the 2010s, but this one might be actually called Web Tech because this sneaker probably came out in like the early 90s or something like that. So, you know, this is more along the lines of that low cut Bo Jackson esque kind of like joint, you know along that air trainer family that you can do like multiple workouts in love it love it love it i only just got about like two of these or something so i want to get some more though they, these not bad you know these actually last you know thank god that the air bubble not cracking on me but comfortable too and uh you know typical gray yep saturday end up rocking a nike air trainer two in the BW colorway with that Persian violet and that black and white. Um, just wanted to get these out the archives and just rock these. You know, I haven't worn these in a minute. But they don't drop Nike Air Trainer 2s um, that much. Um, I like to get a few more colorways of this sneaker. Um, now, this is not my favorite colorway of it. But just for history's sake, heritage's sake, this will have to do. It's not an ugly colorway, but I would definitely definitely like to see more colorways and yeah um you know that one right along the uh, lines of that air trainer family lastly on sunday i end up rocking the asics joint and this is the box right behind me gel saga white and blue now this is actually an og colorway i seen this one too 
in the advertising, the sneaker advertising book. I'll post a picture or, or something of it. I should have brought it down here, but it's about as heavy as a Bible, man. So about as heavy as almost two Bibles feel like. And it's also large, pause, but yeah. Um, so I end up seeing this in the ad for the ASICs. I was like, wow, this came out back then. Not just the model, but the colorway. And this colorway is definitely flying flames. And uh, just a simple Nick colorway, man. You can't go wrong with this. Now, the only thing about this one, though, is that the new buck is like that. It's like white new buck and felt. And anybody that has white new buck know that this is a lint magnet. And just just put your fingers on here too much. If your finger's not clean, just the, the slightest oil mark from your finger or hand or wherever or even debris outside would definitely get the new buck a little bit more like dingy in a way um as far as like trying to clean this you can but i don't wear my white new buck sneakers enough to have to clean them as most as i do is maybe just like a simple brush down i don't even damp uh rag them maybe just along the midsole just to get off any dirt if something is on there but as far as i don't i've been lucky so far truthfully just to not get any stains on the white new buck that might be hell to get out um it might be stained officially but yeah so if you do keep them clean for a long time and you wear them you know a little bit more often but not super frequently the sneaker will age and it will this white new buck will turn like more like that lemonade eggnog color these i end up getting for like 30 40 bucks or something like that i forgot from where but it's been years you got the insole that bright orange so yeah um that's it for my sneaker rotation today i got more content on the way for you guys something a little bit more different i'm gonna try to get back into my sneaker reviews um y'all supposed to have a sneaker review about like two to three weeks ago but um i don't know where the hell the damn on foot is so now i have to redo the on foot so i got you guys uh just as far as the sneaker reviews go i'm still playing catch up with that and then too you know real life happens and like i always say i do this as a hobby um as far as the sneaker channel go uh you know i don't really do it for a living or anything so you know i shoot videos when i get time to shoot them so rate comment and subscribe i got more content on the way peace